Hey guys, TC here. We've got another uh, tank review for you today. Um, today we're going to look at the Valentine 2. Uh, this is a little tier 4, uh, very preferential matchmaking tank. It's currently still in the game. Um, it's not expensive either, as you can see in the tech tree. It sits in the Russian line um, and it's yours for a thousand gold, so that's three or four quid. It's not an expensive tank at all, um, and it will only ever see tier fours this vehicle. Uh, main reason behind that is it has a very poor gun. Um, as you can see, with your standard rounds, you only get 51 penetration. The premium APCI is 84, and the HE has 23. It's not very accurate either at 0.41, but it is a fairly quick aiming gun. Uh, tank crew that I'm running in this is my T-54 lightweight crew. Uh, you've got the commander, the gunner, the driver, sorry, and the loader. Um, as you can see as well, they're fully stacked out and I'm training BIA on this crew as well. Um, it's a lot of, it, it's, it's quite a nice relaxing tank to play this. You've got 380 hit points, um, but the big selling point for this tank, although it's not very quick, it has 60 millimeters of armor all round on the hull. And at tier four, these very few tanks can penetrate you. They can do uh, because, as you can see, these flat surfaces, but a little bit of angling, uh, you know, even that much, is enough to bounce most of what you'll what you'll encounter at tier four. Uh, and the turret is 65 all round. As you can see, there's some quite nice sloping and rounding going on here. Um, so it, it's actually for a light tank, it's actually pretty well armoured. Um, as you can see, I run mine with vents, coated optics, and a toolbox. Um, standard view range is 350. I, I like a bit more, so I've got 393. Um, it's not fantastic, but you know, it's 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 supposed to be a light tank, but it plays like a heavy at tier four. It's very strange. Um, but it's a nice piece of kit. As you can see, big repair kit, big first aid kit, and the automatic fire extinguisher. And I'm afraid I do scrub up on this. I run nothing but APCR in this tank. Um, I have no, I have no qualms. This this tank can make money even with premium ammunition being fired from it because it does only cost you 800 credits per premium ammo. But it's a lot of fun to play. Um, anyway. Gameplay coming up isn't actually my ace tanker in this game. Um, I aced it a long time ago when I first got it. Um, and I've never aced it since. Um, I don't think, anyway. I might have aced it on the channel a couple of times, but I, I can't remember, to be honest with you. The um, game that I'm going to show you is a first class, I believe. Um, don't do a huge amount of work, um, but we do get Pashi uh, a Pashini's medal, and uh, we steal a cheeky BIA as well at the end. Um, so hopefully um, it'll be of some interest to you. For those of you who are starting to get into the game and you're reaching the tiers three and four, and you're looking, you know, how can I imp how can I how can I add to my garage and my gameplay? You know, I'm going to do a video later today um, where I'm going to give you my view on how to utilize premium vehicles in World of Tanks. Um, and it is purely and simply going to be me telling you what I think. Um, your mileage may differ, you may have different ideas, and I'd really like to see the comments in that video when, you, when that comes out later today. What we're going to do is we're going to kick into the gameplay now and we'll look at the post-game stats as we usually do. So, okay, guys, here we go. We're just loading into the game now, as you can see. Um, as we said before, you will only, only, only ever see Tier 4s in this vehicle. Um, we'll speed up the replay so we can get into the gameplay for you. Um, as you can see as well, we've got a lot of new players in here. We are um, we are predominantly the best player in the game here currently. Um, so this is the kind of matchup you're typically going to see in this. As you can see, I'm heading over to the one-two line. What I'll do is I'll slow it down to two times speed currently, and then we'll drop it down to normal. As you can see, there's only me and I have PZ1C on this side. And um, there's a little bit of, uh, as you as you as you're aware, I'm a big fan of trying of team working the game if it's possible. So the Panzer one sees there, as you can see, he tells us in the chat, "Don't suicide, take your time and wait." And it's fine, we don't have a problem. As you can see, I'm slightly angled against the Stuart Four here, 
and uh, we're just, you know, we're bouncing shells off him still with this gun. Um, we take a heat shell there from the Time 95 down at the end. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't really expect him to fire a heat shell for his first shell, but we can't really argue we're firing gold from this tank as well. But as you saw, we did actually bounce some shells off the front of that Stuart. Um, 250 damage, we did take him for his entirety. The Panzer 1C has rushed off ahead of us now. Um, I don't think he realises how quite how slow we are, but as you can see, 32 kph is the top speed of this tank, and we are at it now. I should say as well, by the way, guys, early on now, this isn't a very quick game at all. Um, we've already taken 90 damage, we've already blocked 90 damage. Um, unfortunately, the Panzer 1C gets taken out, nothing we can do. Bit of auto aiming use here. As you can see, we're just buttering through. Here's the penetrating shot, as you can see. A heat shell there penetrates us frontally um, with very little armour, uh, with very little angle. Um, the Type 95 is one of the few, t and the Matilda are, are a couple of the tanks that can penetrate this with ease. Um, you know, it's par for the course. He was firing a heat shell, he did 120 damage to us, he took off a little over 30% of our hit points there. It's to be expected. Now, here you see me make a bit of a mistake with this gun. I decided to shoot at range. Now, we're lucky with one shot, but then the other one whiffs high. This is the kind of shooting you can come to expect from this gun if you try to snipe with it like this. It's not the kind of gun you should be doing this with. We're pushing around the corner, we're only a few minutes into this game, and here's, a, here's another west, but as you can see we wait for the aim, we put our first shell in, then the next one donks low, the next one donks low again, then we fire high, finally we connect with one more, the next one goes high, and we take him out. That's one artillery kill, here we see a sextant two. You can see quite a low alpha damage gun. On average, we're only hitting for 40 or 30 at a time. So we've got two kills. We've done three. We've done 817 damage, and we've done 3.3 k in our WN8 rating. Um, nothing really spectacular here in this game. I'm looking for shots here on the S on the uh, crested duck there. Unfortunately, I'm not finding any. And he gets taken out by uh, one of our by by someone else anyway. There, that's Plopsy in the Su seventy six M. So all that's left is one tank. I'm on four kills. We've got the Su seventy six M on three. The Hetz is on three. At this point, we get an invite from Plopsy to platoon. Um, the reason he's looking to do that is to grab a BIA. Plain and simple. You'll see that more and more and more from players. That's why the number of BIA medals being given out, I think, has increased. Um, because they've been able to put this in-game award, if you are on a team and you think is a BIA is impossible, you will obviously get the Courageous Resistance bonus, which will give you the same XP and the same credits as if almost, I think, I think you get the same if you win. As you can see, we're struggling up these hills, we've not got the best pass weight, but we do try to dupe the Vesp. We pull back, he takes his shot and misses, and that's it, end of the game for him. We pop over, one, two, end of the replay, clear win, 3.8k WNA, 903 damage. We accept the invite and we get the BI. Let's look at the post game stats here. As you can see, um, I did this, uh, this game was this morning, uh, very, very early this morning, so nothing too special there. Uh, first class badge wasn't a mastery. Uh, we got Pashini's medal and we got the cheeky BIA at the end there. 35,508 credits with 4,347 XP earned. As you can see by the teams, 828 base XP puts us on the top there. Um, the Hetzer did actually do more damage than us um, there, which is really, really good to see. Uh, some good defensive work there from the team. Um, but we managed to come out on top for XP. Detail reports, 29 shots fired, of which 24 hit. As you can see, like I said, it's not the most accurate gun. And only 22 penetrated. Even firing that premium APCR ammunition, you will bounce this. You will bounce with this gun. It's not an I win button, as you know. Um, uh, blocked a bit of damage there, 90. Uh, after all expenses, we still came out with a profit of 11,554. And because we've got a premium vehicle, we do get a nice healthy bonus of, of XP as well. So the Valentine 2 is probably going to be taken out of the game at some point in the future. 
Um, so it is definitely a grab it while it's going tank. Um, there's very little else in the game that has this kind of matchup. There is actually only one other tank, which is the uh, Pans uh, Kampfwagen B2. Um, a very, it's a slightly rare tank. You may see wargaming wheel out every now and then for thirty or forty pounds in bundles, um, and that's the only other tank that gets the same matchmaking as this because it also has a woefully inadequate gun. Um, so, if you're looking for a little tier four premium, I would strongly suggest looking at getting this. I think it's a, a nice little, nice little tank to do to get once you reach tier four, and you can control your gameplay. You can also learn a lot from these low tiers, especially something as well armoured as this. You can practice your angling, you can practice things like you can practice side scraping and things like that because even though it's a light tank as I, as I said before at the start, really well armoured and you can really do very well with it. So uh, if you're new to the channel, it's the first time you're seeing us, welcome. Um, hopefully you'll click that subscribe button and follow and uh, I'll see you on the next video guys. Bye.